Hey guys, happy Monday. We are outside of CVS and there are a lot of digital deals that we can do this week at CVS and some of them are really good and some of them are just okay. So let's head inside and see what kind of deals we can grab. So the first deal is going to be on the Carefree liners. They are buy one get one 50% and buy two you'll get a $2 extra buck. Sorry guys, I am exhausted. So I may mess up a decent amount in today's haul. So there's no digital coupons or anything, and these are the cheapest ones at my store. So grabbing two of them will be $7.93. We'll get the $2 extra buck back, making them just $5.93. Now I know some stores have like a small like 20. It's like I've seen them but my store doesn't stack it. I think it's like $2 or something, which would be a way better deal, but oh well. My store has some of these notebooks that are 65 cents on clearance or like these cute sticky notepads for $1.99. This Simulac Total Comfort Huge Canister is 50% off at $17.99. I feel like this is a pretty decent deal if you need this stuff. So right now, a lot of CVS health items are buy one, get one 50% off. And we have some I bought at rebates that will attach. So you can get some great deals on some of these stuff. So right now, there's a pretty decent deal on Crest toothpaste. They are on sale for buy two, get a $5 extra buck. They're on sale for $4.99. We have this $3 digital coupon that should glitch with this $1 digital coupon. So that means I'll be left to pay $5.98 at the register, making them both just $1. There's a great deal on Colgate if you prefer Colgate. They are on sale for $3.99, so you'll grab two of them. We have this $7 off of two digital coupon. So before that coupon, your total will be $7.98. After that coupon, it'll be $0.98. Cents. So two tubes of toothpaste will be the same for the Colgate deal or the Crest deal. So there's a really, really good deal on Crest White Strips. And it goes for the serum as well. They are buy one, get a $10 extra buck. And we have a $10 digital coupon for this. So this is the cheapest option at my store. So I pay $32.29, get that $10 extra buck back, making it $22.29. Or serums for that matter, the cheapest option is $35.49. And we have a different $10 digital coupon. So you could do this this week and like that next week if you want both of them. Anyway, so you, you pay the $25.49, get the $10 extra buck back, making it just $15.49. Now, let's say you have a percent off C CRT, you could use it because you're paying full price. But if you are doing this deal with a percent off CRT, I would highly recommend not using extra bucks to help pay because that lowers the amount the percent off CRT takes off. So there's an easy deal you can do if you need a new Revlon beauty tool. You can grab like one of these for $7.49. We have this $4 CRT, making it just $3.49. CoverGirl is on promotion. Buy two, get a $5 extra buck. The cheapest option at my store are always these dual eyebrow pencils. Grabbing two of them will be $11.58. We have this $4 CRT that everyone got this week. And after that will come off, I'll be left to pay $7.58. We'll get the $5 extra buck back, making them $2.78. Now, I don't buy makeup. I only do it when it's free. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any digital coupons or printable coupons or anything. But if you do like makeup or want some really cheap makeup, you can do other deals. They have pretty inexpensive lip balm that you can grab. So there's two different dub promotions going on right now for like deodorant and everything. So just be careful. The men's is buy two, get a $2 extra buck and they're buy one, get one 50% off. But the women's is buy two, get five. So there's a really, really great way to do this deal if your store carries the whole body deodorant. So you'll grab one of those for $12.79. And then you're gonna grab one of the vitamin cares for $12.79. It's not take, but it's part of the promotion. Now these would be the two products I would grab. 
they're both $12.79 so my total will be $25.58 now I have a $4 digital coupon for this one and a $4 digital coupon for this one but I have a oddly a funny feeling that only one of them is gonna come off but if they both come off like they should that means I'll be left to pay $17.58 then I'll submit my receipt to Ibotta for $5 for the whole body deodorant. Just kidding, it's on the vitamin care. And then I'll submit to Fetch for $2.50 for the vitamin care and then $3 for the whole body deodorant. And then I'll get that $5 extra buck back, making them both $2.08. Now, if only one of the $4 digital coupons come off like I think I would, it would make them both $6.08, which is still a pretty decent deal. There's a pretty decent deal on Degree Dry Spray deodorant. They're buy one, get one 50, and then buy two, get a $3 extra buck. They're $7.29 at my store, so buying two of them will be $10.93. We'll use this $4 digital coupon, making me love to pay $6.93 at the register. I'll get that $3 extra buck back, making them just $3.93. So there's a pretty decent deal on Maybelline Cosmetics. They are buy two get a five dollar extra buck. So the first product you would grab is a baby lips for four seventy nine, and then you would grab like an eye pencil or anything. I honestly was considering doing this deal, so they are ten ninety nine. So grabbing both of these products will be fifteen ninety six. Now we don't have any digital coupons, so. That would be the full total, but we have a $3 CRT everyone has, and I have a 3 off 15 CRT as well, so they'll stack together. So I would be left to pay $9.96 at the register, but then I would take my receipt and submit it to I bother for this for $2 back, and then I get that $5 extra buck back, and making it $2.96 for both. All right, guys, before we get into the checkout and everything, just like the title says, updates. So as we all know, CVS has stopped like a lot of paper glitches with like coupons.com and everything. Like we used to get super cheap hair deal and everything. Like that's not a thing. Now I've seen it on Facebook and different YouTubers that select states don't have glitches. I believe I saw like California is one of the states that doesn't have glitches or something um let me know in the comments if you live in the one of these areas like I can't believe that I, it's just surprising to me also like I'm talking about like not only like the paper glitches but like digital coupon glitches so uh, that's interesting and I heard CVS is getting another system update coming up to hopefully ca take care of the rest of the digital glitches all across the country, which would be super depressing to me because that's kind of half the reason why I come to CVS. Um, also, I heard that um, glittering is not a thing anymore. I never did that, but um, I heard some people would. So glittering, if you don't know, is if you have a paper coupon or a digital coupon that is attaching to something that it shouldn't, um, kind of, uh, I don't know how to explain this. So, so there's P&G coupons, paper coupons, printable coupons, maybe. Yeah, I think they're printable coupons right now, or not right now, but they were like up to like a month ago. They were attaching to uh, things they shouldn't be. I think it was a $4 thing that sh shouldn't have attached to things, but it, it was. Um, now like rebates and stuff like I'm more okay with it just because like I'm not the only one doing it there's tons of people doing it um but yeah I know some CVS's were like banning people for doing that so I was definitely not going to do that because at the time well I still like to use CVS I guess anyway also I read somewhere that CVS is trying to get rid of their 98% rule in some stores and trying it out as a like a trial thing. I only saw that in like two different places so, and I can't really find much about it so I don't really know if that's true or not but I would be really mad about that too because sometimes I just slide under that 98%. But anyway 
so with checkout I didn't grab anything I wanted to do that dove deal really bad but I just had a bad feeling about it so I skipped it and then the Maybelline deal I thought about doing because uh, I've been getting a lot of hateful comments across the board like on TikTok, YouTube so I have natural blonde and I mean blonde blonde hair and I dye it obviously and I dye it purple but I don't dye it very often because I have terrible hair as it is um as you guys heard I'm probably chopping it off this summer but like my eyebrows are super uh thin and they um I don't want to say they fa they fade faster than my actual hair so like they're you can kind of see them now but like and some videos are really hard to tell and people are like, oh, you, why you shave your eyebrows? Why, why don't you have eyebrows? And so I really want to learn how to use an eyebrow pencil to like fill them in and make them darker. But I just don't know how. I've tried. It just looks bad. Or at least I think it looks bad. And I'm paranoid to like go outside with it because I, I don't know. So if you guys know of any like tutorials or like anything to help me out to like learn how to do it better because I've bought eyebrow pencils like not the cheap ones that well I bought ones from like CVS and stuff but like they I got like L'Oreal like I think it was L'Oreal or something I got like a nicer one to try and it just looked off I don't want to say awful but it looked off like I don't know so I'm paranoid, but I know haters are gonna hate, and I know I'm beautiful for who I am, even though I have like a huge zit that I've been trying to hide like the whole video. So I don't know, but I've always I've wanted to do the, to learn how to do this for like years because I've had this problem for years, especially when I dyed my I used to dye my hair black black because that's just what it was, but it, like my blonde roots come out too easily, so I went lighter. But if you guys could link a detour, detour, detourial, yeah. As you can tell, I'm really tired. I worked 13 hour shift last night, didn't get a break because we were so busy, blah, 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 breaking the law, yeah, yeah, yeah. My butt got kicked at work. It's just kind of how it is sometimes, but I really need to go home and go to bed, guys. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time.